Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. What is this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. Watching. Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. <clears throat> what is that? It feels familiar. Know you. you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. There is no sky. You shouldn't be here. No one should. In thousands of years, few have seen this place. Three were empresses. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. Strange power in this place. I will never walk in the sun again. I know it now. The one who took my life walks the world still. But he has withdrawn. Such a short time ago, I was a girl, then a young woman, in love, then an empress. Now what am I? Remember the last day I saw you. Out behind the tower. The lessons from your father coursing through your head. And the lessons from your mother as well. My heart is made of muscle and sinew, but metal and glass as well. And other things.
Tyler slit a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, arts and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Cursed. Daft old man. This is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. The Duke's probably not back from Dunwall yet. If we're lucky, the Howlers will be distracted by some score they're working.
You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is alright. Wherever he is. Karnaka looks pretty from a distance, but it's a city on the way down. And the blood flies are bad this year. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There were reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide, but Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. Mortimer Ramsay. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. Dr. Hypatia. She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. So, the Crown Killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Sokolov seems so much older now. It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Always tinkering, painting, or living life with gusto. That's Sokolov. I'll always miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. Cobblestone smell of death and corruption. 
corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <clears throat> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Dunwall seems so far away. I'll come back soon, Father. I promise. The Jewel of the South. My father's birthplace. Of Donald, hunger and fear. 
She learned to be brutal to survive. Back in Elmore, she almost killed the crime boss called Slackjaw. Once while he was getting a shave. Some nights, she wakes choking, hearing the screams of a young girl, watching her mother die. I can tell you that for years she was a smuggler, and worse before that. She has not always chosen her companions wisely, but she truly cares for so long. I can feel it. I can see why she cares so much for Sokolov. Both of them are trying to atone for their past. But maybe there are things beyond forgiveness. She has secrets I will not reveal. She may tell you in time. It was not her hand that held the knife. Things would have been different for her. If her young friend had survived the attack all those years ago. She is a woman formed of three fathers. A drunkard. A killer. And an artist. She fell in with the wrong crowd many years ago in Dunwall. The things she did. She can't forgive herself. She... She was with them on that day. A man haunts her dreams like a father to her. A man with a scar. He hides himself, even from me. This one has a greater destiny beyond Dunwall, beyond Karnaka. Told you her secrets. Ask me no more. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. I'd take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Sircono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. The powerful have been putting the screws to the underclass in Karnaka for years now. And the Grand Guard makes up new laws on the spot. You don't carry yourself like a spoiled royal, you know that? Corvo's influence, I bet. Trying to keep you alive. I've been through a lot, too. But I have to say, it's... sad about your mother. Sorry. That's Adermeyer in the distance. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. No need to cover your face. There's not much dust from the mines down here at the docks. You'll be okay on the docks, stranger. But watch out past the wall of light. What ship is that out there? You know the skipper? That's the dreadful whale. No, it's not on the register. Maybe one of the uh, recent importers from more. Uh, let's give it a day or two. If she's still there, I can, I can ask a friend who's with the Grand Guard to take a squad on board and conduct a search. Give the crew time to 
load up whatever contraband they're no doubt waiting on. Good thought. They give us a piece of the confiscation? Yeah, we pass it along to another ship at a discount. Then we all split the take. Just don't forget about me. Loading crates sure beats smoke flashing houses to kill off the blood flies. Never doing that again. You still eat meat? All the blood flies and all. I'm not sure it's safe. Of course I am. I mean, I trust my butcher, but how can he be sure there aren't any of those filthy grubs in my steak? I just boil everything. Simple as that. It tastes like shoe leather, but it's better than eating blood fly larva. Am I right? I only buy meat if I see the animal killed in front of me. And I cook it right away. Now that's another solution. I miss the days when you could look at a dinner plate without having nightmares. Hey! Oh, hello! Oh, maybe two more months here in Karnaka before it gets really bad and I uh, ship out for Colorado. I'll stop at the warehouse when we're done. See if anybody wants to pop over to the Crone's Hand for drinks and dice. I'm the first one to admit when I'm scared. And there. You start any shit around here? Scared. We're jumping in. Something's up. That's no way to live. Here are ships coming into the city. Everyone smells the blood. All this political squabbling. It's good for profits. I wonder if Morley and Tibia really will go to war with us over this Delilah business. Covering your face won't make the Grand Guard happy. Amazing, but I'm going sunblind. The way the ocean shimmers. Oh, beautiful. Let's hope the framing's good. I'm seeing black spots. The silver plate is ready. Looks like there's a weird shadow. Huh, anyway. Five, four, three. Two, one. Got it. Yeah, should be a nice shot. Let's take another one for safety. Uh, there. Almost. And let's expose the silver plate for... Ugh, not sure about this one. Once I told her a thousand times, it ain't my job to check on the grinders. Sometimes I think she's deaf on purpose. I was pretty I sure it took got. her with me. Your face is covered. The Grand Guard won't like that. You look like you can take care of yourself. Don't bother looking for work at the docks. Just tried. No luck. Pardon the smell. Uh, I ate something off. I heard they're laying workers off at the fisheries. I heard they're laying workers off at the whaling slaughterhouse. Why does she want that apartment? Dust everywhere, no matter what you do. We're playing Hello dice there. tonight. If you're looking, the mine's always mm -hmm. looking for workers. Another week, so another blood flight. Who's ridiculous. one in this city? Crazy. I mean, you're not from here, am I right? Welcome to Karnaka, then. I've been out of ice for two weeks now. 
can't Customers don't care much for warm lemonade. Now my brother-in-law tried to get me to sign on with a mining crew. <laughs> no way I'm dying down in a hole. I work unloading fish. I'd be out on the boats, but I've got a weak stomach. How are we supposed to get ahead here? Always paying off the Grand Guard. So many people trying to get away from Karnaka now. Outside us crooked cock! I'm talking to a stone so many people place. trying to get away from Karnaka now. But where are you gonna go? There's money here, even if it's dirty. I told him. It's a new thing, needing money. Next time, Grandma's I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Now I gotta be on the lookout for some no gooder with a knife. Why me? the cargo. I don't see any signs of Pharaoh. He seems to be late. Or maybe we're early. He should be here with the Red Shark. This is unacceptable. I have a very tight schedule. Don't worry, you'll make it eventually. If not today, then tomorrow. Is that a joke? Mm -hmm. Santiago Fisheries have a reputation to maintain. Mm -hmm. We have clients mm -hmm. all over the Isles. Do I need to remind you that fish is a delicate cargo? We can't afford any delays. Well, it's fermented red shark, which is a nice way of saying it's fish that's already gone bad. You can just tell your clients that here in Karnaka, we like it very fermented. Unacceptable. Farrell is going to pay for this. I'm Sakonan blood through and through. Been here all my life. Even the familiar parts of the city are starting to feel My dodgy. family and I moved here That's three years ago. Biggest mistake we ever made. You got it. I should get a longer break. On account of my bad oh. feet, I should be able to complain to someone. Every day like yesterday. Mama, you knew that was supposed to go to us. What are we supposed to do now? We are out of money. Look at it. He's in on it. What was your cut, Ramus? Gutless merchants are all the same. Hands out, begging and whining. Tell the truth for once, you lying coward. What did you make on this, Ramus? Say one more word, Maya. I'm finished with this guy. Let's rush him. Ramus, you worm. Lying sack of shit. Turned on your own people. That's it. You push me. This is your fault. Oh, are you all right? Huh? What? I, I, I don't want to die.
manual. Halfway up, a cable broke and we lost 11 workers. They never even made it into the mine. Those cables weren't made to carry so many people. So Pack many people in, trying to get away from Karnaka now. After Where that, are you gonna the go? The There's money out. here. That Even if it's dirty. What? Somebody's not Hatesha. feeling well. She used to treat the workers, but she doesn't come around anymore. So what all this means is that we need more workers. There are always people coming to Circonos looking for a better life. We'll get them into the mines if I have to club them over the head myself. Oi! Hi. Maybe I should have a look at We don't normally see many of these beasts this far south. They're like the cold waters to the north. In a day or so, the odor will be tremendous. The guts will burst, then the crabs and gulls will be added. New restrictions are now in place due to the political assassinations conducted in the name of the former Empress Emily Carter. I've only had a boat on my own. That's the life. Corvo Atano. The Grand Circonin Guard will be stopping and questioning all foreigners and new workers on the streets of Karnaka. Compliance is mandatory. Can you imagine being attacked by such a monster out at sea? They're horrible creatures. I've heard the sailors say they actually sing. <laughs> Can you imagine it? What nonsense. Tonight, I'm gonna find out whether it's true that whiskey keeps the blood flies away. Been working too hard. A man needs time to himself. This city's gonna grind me down. These milk-blooded beggars think the mines are rough. Send them to a whaling house for a few months. I think I've got a tooth going. I can smell it. We're printing new posters soon. That usually brings in a few more workers each week. All I need is a couple more years, like 1848. Mining silver had a kind of romantic appeal back then. When I'm out of this racket, I never want to see another dirty face again. With miners, it's all fleas and body odor. If things hadn't fallen apart down here, I might have been able to retire this year. Then I can go and have a mug of something at the party and feel a little like myself. Somebody's seen something. Now we're all on edge. My heart can't take much more of this. Now I should get a longer break. On account of my bad feet, I should be able to go. Fellow Sir Conans, let us rejoice at the crowning of our new Empress Delilah Caldwin I and the imminent arrival of his I'm great... I'm tired of the sound of my own voice. It's like I'm talking to a stone wall for all they listen. For three days following the Duke's return to Karnata, all official government activity will be put on hold as the Duke recovers from his travels and additional tariffs will be levied against foot traffic near the Grand Palace. Thank <laughs> you. 
from an underground market. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. Hard times under the Duke and his Grand Guard. A man has to be ready for anything. Hey there. What have you got for me? Uh oh, you're kind. Thank you. If you want to get past that wall of light, I've heard people sneaking through this blood fly infested apartment. Going through there will get you to the other side of that Grand Guard checkpoint. Wanna know why people are leaving Karnaka? Because the city is not safe to live in anymore. The Duke is drunk half the time. And, and if the howlers don't rob you, he gets shaken down by the Grand Guard. There's garbage in the streets, and blood flies in half the abandoned buildings. This, this city has consumption, and no one with half a wit wants to be buried with it. Let's hope you never need help. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry, he's already dead. A body? That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. There's a basement nobody uses. It's below the dentist office, on the corner just down from the overseer outpost. Bring the body there. Look for the carriage station where the railway goes into the rock. Meet me at the old basement near there with the corpse. Don't let anyone see you. I'll give you something good and tell you how to get to Ademire. One way, at least. The guy's been dead less than a day. No stink. Watch out. The overseers don't mess around. This is Paolo's second in command, Minnie Blanchard. Early in life, she was someone else. Early in life, she felt like she'd been born into the wrong life. So, she set about making it right. Minnie Blanchard, second in command of the Hallers. She once broke a coffin maker's arm. For smiling at her. If she says she's going to hunt you down and kill you in the street, then that's what she'll do. This one answers to Paolo, who is her closest friend and knows all her secrets. She calls them her lovers, those poor souls. She goes after the rich ones who cry and faint at the first sign of trouble. She can't wait to take their pocket watches, jewels, and pride. Resents them for their easy lives. It wasn't enough just to rob them. She yelled and cursed until they cried, just like she knew they would. But 
told you her secrets. Ask me no more. Your face is no concern of mine. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Glad we could do business. You won't regret it. I'll take that deal. Grand God comes in. I don't know you. I shouldn't deal with strangers. Enjoy the air here. I, for one, ain't selling fermented shark. stop us I'm in just remember to move slowly and don't get too close to the nests we don't even know if the people inside had any money we just know they're dead and the place is infested with blood flies Carl going through there puts us on the other side of the wall of light if you want out of the city as bad as I do this is our chance no more likely we all get stung to death. Then we end up hatching more blood flies for the next group of idiots who try to get inside. Damn it, Carl. All right. We don't turn on each other. We'll find another way to make the coin. And another way to get past the wall of light. You get stung enough, that's it. They'll be laying eggs under your skin. You run, they start to swarm. Even if there's blood amber in there, and a way to the other side, it's not worth the risk. Blood flies aren't that hard to avoid if you're careful. Just go slow and avoid the nests. We should have brought something to burn down the nests. You can find all sorts of good stuff in bloodfly nests, if you're sneaky and you've got the stomach for it. You just need to be very quiet. Don't sneeze or anything. Infested, all right. Move slowly, stay away from the nests, and try to avoid getting filled with blood fly venom and eggs.
I'm being hunted by half the people in the Empire. Part of me is excited about what happens if they find me. Since I have the following announcement. This year's blood fly concern is the most severe in recent memory. If you encounter a nest or an infested corpse, do not disturb it. Any attempts to practice the funeral rites of the Abbey of the Everyman will be punished severely. Contact the Grand Sirconan Guard at once. The Guardsmen on site will handle the situation and determine whether any fines are appropriate.
to make good Thank money here. Why? Tell all the He's grand guards to shake their I just more than he can say. What's all the fuss? The oh, whatever it is, I got more well, important things trouble. to worry about. When I cover your face, are you worried someone <laughs> might recognize you? I don't know what I ate to deserve that. Sure. I'm gonna find the money for that. Well, a little plus is all right. This? Just get through this shift. Then I can go and have a mug or something. Yeah. I feel a little like myself. I saw my nightmare again last night. I wish I could. Any attempts to hinder the Grand Guard in their enforcement duties will be met with the exercise of force. what would happen if you reported me. I warned you. Please, you gave me no choice. The wall of light from the time of the rat plague. Guess what happens next? They owe you. They would have burned me to ashes. I was a fool to say no to the Grand Guard. The Duke lets the Grand Guard make up new laws and taxes on the spot. Totally corrupt. Where are you gonna go? There's money here, even if it's dirty. Conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Listen, I only need This to... area is restricted on the authority of the Abbey. No one is allowed inside. Perverse in this place. That's the life. I was weak. 
I must be ever vigilant against them. I am certain we will find what we're looking for. Okay. Dig deep, brother. Remember that the profane seeks to hide itself. They will ride. You know not the mind of the deviant, for their thoughts are drowned in dark waters. Of the execution voice. go. It's like I'm talking to a stone wall. Use your eyes. They all died. Yeah, there was some old man screamed and blubbered like one of them was the last woman in the aisles. <laughs> Tried to throw her a bouquet of wild mimosas. They had to drag them away. I'm more just in the cleanup detail. Anyone been assigned yet to cart off the bodies? Sometimes you're still wearing watches and lockets and the like. Really? It never occurred to me. When the lieutenant comes back, I'll ask if she needs a couple of volunteers. Good man. That way we can get them someplace private. Maybe even look for silver fillings. That takes time. Trust me. Hmm. Hello, hello. Welcome. I'm so sorry we're out of rosemary soap today. You'll have to come back another time. Such nice hair you have.
upset. The result because they have turned their backs on tradition and on the seven strictures themselves. A wonder is a friend to the outsider. We unite against the spirits of Something the unknown. Is a miss that would drag us now to all faithful in our society. Your allegiance should be first and most fiercely to your family. What's he going on about? Beats me. Half the shit they say makes no sense. Is that the nine strictures? Dumbass. It's only seven. Nine, seven. What's the difference? It's all dog shit about the void and the outsider and living a humble life. Nothing I give a rat's ass about. Hey, where are the Overseer women? Why only men? The women are in a special clan or something apart. They're all blind. But I don't think they're allowed to get together. The men and the women. The Abbey doesn't like it. Maybe when they're together, they have trouble keeping their pants on. It keeps them all focused on the strictures, I guess. But the source of your suffering might not be plain to you. Karnaka has turned away from the Abbey of the Everyman. Would gamble with all that you had built, with your very family. Is the answer. I was with you. I must be ever vigilant against the outsider. He knows my heart. He tests me. I will not let him. Somewhere in all of his beating servant, he is but a boy. He didn't leave him lie. He was late with the tea. Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft the music boxes at each enclave. Here in the city, for mm. instance. Instead, they're made in a few locations, kept from us, and shipped out. It seems dangerous. Far worse to have the knowledge and construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The techniques, if applied by anyone but the most faithful, resolute overseers, would border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves me to imagine what cultists might accomplish if they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own ends. Exactly, brother. Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch them across the Empire where they're needed in the fight against the supernatural. Strange indeed. I must draw a stream of my brothers. The echoes of lies come back as the voice of the outsider. Something is amiss. Some heathen grown bold by these times. I shall not abide the football of a blasphemous wanderer. Perhaps we need an eighth stricture. Defy your empress and be burned alive. There is a tale, a decade and a half old. A tale most often shared from overseer to overseer. Mice overseer Liam Byrne. It is told 
miles around the campsite during our most remote pilgrimages. It is the sorry story of a man. Within the abbey, who was banished during the day. His name may not be spoken, and all written record of his existence has been erased so great. This heretic's body is important, even though I don't fully understand the situation. We'll wait for the Vice Overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else, maybe Overseer Kendana. Until then, we stay where we are. Won't the heretic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. That's Mindy Blanchard. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after.
Come on. Hey, you got it. Put it down in the hall. Good job. Take this. I won't ask you why you needed that. So how do I get to Adamir? I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. Better than nothing. Thanks for your help. So now you've been paid, hit the road. Stay on the good side of the howlers, my friend. We're moving up in Karnaka. Going to run this place someday. See you again sometime. That's it then. Now the power's down. They wouldn't let us take the carriage. Adamire is closed to the public. We'll have to try again. We have to see Dr. Hypatia. They don't let anyone see her anymore. Not even people who need urgent treatment. If we tell them that we represent Lucia Pastor and the Miners Family Committee, they can't refuse us. Hundreds of miners are counting on us. Hundreds of children coughing dust and fading a little more each day. In the past, the good doctor always cared for them. She did, and I worried that it got her in trouble. If we lose Hypatia's support, then there's no one left on our side. We're playing dice tonight. Are you in? Wouldn't miss that. to re-inspect the Riverside Grains. That's sure. a horrid idea. Ahem. How many lives to balance against my mother's? A hundred? A thousand? I'm thinking of having a picnic soon. Nah. After last time? I'll get the cigars no. tomorrow. Wanna to buy one? I will.
sock. One useless sock. More Grand Guard soldiers. Lapdogs for the Duke. He says keep alert, and I says I am alert. I've been alert. And he says yeah, but this time I really need it. my bad feet, you know? Seems like a shit assignment. Adermeyer Station? No one ever goes out there anymore. Or rarely. I could transfer you to the Dust District if you're looking for action, Sergeant Quinn. No thanks, ma'am. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Why do we even need Grand Guard personnel here? Adermeyer Institute has strategic value to the Duke's inner circle. That's all I was told. You know how it works. Right. We just carry out your orders. I get it. But it seems weird. Sleepy little place like the Institute. More Grand Guard soldiers. Lapdogs for the Duke. Adermeyer Station. This should take me out to the Institute.
many whores, a child beaten by thieves, and a nest of blood flies, your blood soaked hands. Blood or coin, everyone is going to pay me their due. This must be the alchemist's apartment. Alexandria Hypatia. What's going on at Adermeyer? What's the Duke's interest, and how is it connected to Delilah? I spend less and less time here at my apartment, but my work at Adamire demands it. After the horrible failures of my first serum, I'm more determined than ever to help the miners. It's not my say how hard the Duke and his cronies drive the workers, but... Until he sees reason, I'll do what I can to make their lives better and to provide comfort to their families. It's my obsession, this work, and the impact it will have on the least privileged people in Karnaka. Studying the original plague elixirs. I'm close to something. When I find Hypatia, I'll see what she knows about the Crown Killer. If I could... I'd nest blood flies in the hearts of everyone who opposes me.
Someone's always claiming they've yeah. seen a masked assailant or some other rubbish. I say it's a false alarm. assignment. Then if I eat... Eat it. No, if, if he eats it, then what? Martha, won't you marry me? Twelve weeks have I been at sea. The wall of light. Effective against most people. I'm sure it's not. Someone just heard a Martha, dog bark or something. Of course, now we're all on edge. Twelve weeks have I been at sea. Shooting dice or chasing the ladybirds? Crone's hand? Are you kidding? It's all Hallers in there. So don't wear your uniform. They keep good whiskeys there. They even stock old Dunwall. Ah, oh, man. Let me know next time you go. You hear? My Aunt Belinda moved to old Lamprow. Really? I've never seen her without either a drink or a mandolin in her hands. <laughs> Won't she die of boredom? Old Lamprow's small, but there's a nightlife. And coming from Karnaka, Belinda's gonna be a draw. Huh. Big fish in a small pond. She makes good money playing traditional Sircona music. It's exotic to the people there. I guess pretty much anything but meat and potatoes would be.
Karnaka is in great peril, brothers and sisters. Now, this is not news to those of you living through these times of crisis. But the source of your suffering might not be plain to you. Karnaka has turned away from the Abbey of the Everyman. Those leading this city would gamble with all that we have built, with your very families. If the Abbey is pushed away, anarchy will befall this city. A chaos not seen since the time of the Great Burning. Karnaka has but one chance to save itself, and that is to return to the fold. To take solace once again in the litany on the White Cliff. I say this now to all the faithful in our society. Your allegiance should be first and most fiercely to your family, to your neighbors, and to the Abbey of the Everyman. Princes and queens rise and fall, but a succession of overseers will watch you for the entirety of your lifetime, shielding you from the outer horrors of the void and from the spoiled touch of the outsider himself. Hold closest to the seven strictures. If it is true that a witch now sits on the throne in Dunwall, and that the Duke of Circanus is in her thrall, as is whispered in parlors and alehouses across the empire, that is do I not have said. doubt. We will now verify this claim, remorse. and we will, will act. All the Smoke night. will billow. Fires will lick the stones of Dunwall Tower. And at the end of it all, the Abbey will stand in the ashes. Let not the wanderer into your home, friends. Avoid the stranger, for their time to sink roots into the bedrock of the community has passed. Those who wander are untethered by family and neighbors for reasons tested and true. It is off because be they have turned their the backs outside. on tradition and he on the seven strictures themselves. Tests me. A wanderer Taunts is a friend me. to the outsider. Never doubt that. There is a tale, a decade and a half old. A tale most often shared from overseer to overseer. Apart from the flocks entrusted to our care. Apart from those we give our lives to both chastise and protect. Sometimes we will this tale is told within our mightiest our enclaves. Actions. And sometimes so the will it is told around way. campfires during our most remote pilgrimages. It is the sorry story of a man most high within the Abbey, who was banished during the Rat Plague. His name may not be spoken, and all written record of his existence has been erased, so grave Still were his no errors. From our sisters. Strange. To fall from the pinnacle Very of discipline indeed. to the muddiest ditch of disgrace, that is his tale. Are we not to once the wear the cloth of the High Overseer, and to later bear the heretic's brand across the flesh of his that face. That we unite against the spirits How of the unknown. How did this come to pass, brothers and sisters? Screaming to the night. Look to the to seven return. strictures, and you will know. A young girl came to me on the 14th day of the month of harvest. I will <laughs> never forget her words. She looked up at me and asked, what shrines to the outsider could be found across the aisles? She affected a look of innocence, but beneath it I saw guile. My suspicions arose at once, and I questioned her sharply, until she confessed to playing alone in an empty woodcarver's shop at the edge of town. Each day thing. for a week, all she does. crept it's back to that place, Trinket. and there in the cellar she it found cloths of purple and red, suspended from the walls, and a wretched altar of candles burned low. Some small trinkets of bone, and a few coins left by those within the outsider's wicked cabal, those cursed figures who hunch and shamble just outside the lights of our city, whose faces we do not recognize, and whose voices are strange to us. The girl was taken from her home the next night, locked in a cage of iron and toppled into the canal. Her corruption was eradicated for the safety of all those who lived around assassin. her, all of you. We harden ourselves to the cries of the apostate, to the heretic, 
and in doing so, we save countless others from the horrible discord that awaits them beyond death. The Abbey will not allow the shadows of the Void to fall upon you. We will brandish the light or the flame as we must to keep our charges from everlasting pain and <clears throat> suffering, to prevent even one among us from wandering through that endless night for time without end. The reward of a life well lived, in keeping with the seven strictures, is the end of existence, the peace of non-being. Only those who turn from the seven strictures risk an endless existence, adrift in the void, the dark sky without stars, the cold, lifeless ocean that surrounds us all and threatens to devour the earth and sky and all things in between. Trust in the Abbey, my friends. Trust in the Abbey. Stay to the flesh that is familiar. They will that of the fowl and sheep, like a virulent the ox swarm. and fish Devour from the cold ocean. Wherever they go. Even Those who filled. taste the flesh of the rat risk drifting through the void for all the remaining hours of all the remaining years until the world is swallowed itself by the void and all manner of things are destroyed. Set a table for your family that will keep them safe. Lay out a meal that would cause you no shame should your neighbor come to sup with you. <laughs> 